Hello everybody and welcome to part 3. In this part I will be taking the notebook apart and installing the new speakers and testing them to make sure they work. Let's go ahead and start unscrewing all of the screws. There's all the screws out, now I need to take it apart which is always nerve wracking because it uses those pressure clips and every time I take it apart I think I've, I've broken it because it clicks but... Uh, right that was simple enough. Uh, don't need to take the battery out but it probably will be easier if I do take it out so now I'm going to remove the battery which is this like L shaped thing I'll just put that down off to one side so we're back once I've unscrewed that also zoomed in a bit so you can see it a bit better in the monitor everything's reversed so getting it centered is quite a challenge there we go that looks fine what's really good to have on hand when you're taking stuff apart that involves screws is a magnet because the screw's gone down here and I couldn't get it without the magnet, but now I can. That's one of the battery's special screws, because these two screws here for the battery are different from all the others. So I'm going to put these two off to one side and take note of uh, where they go. Taken all of the screws out, so now I need to unplug it. I'm probably going to remove it from a... Uh, should have brought my those like angled tweezers, whatever I call, whatever they're called. I'll just put a fresh bit of electrical tape on once I've finished. And then I need to undo this by gently wiggling it out like that. And now I can take the battery out. Oh, the Wi-Fi antenna. And now I can take the battery out. Right, let's not halt. Let's just get straight into putting the speakers in. They do go in that way. I don't have any adhesive to hold them down. Thinking, will I need adhesive to hold them down? I don't think so. No, because the bottom of the laptop is going to be pushed up against here, therefore I don't need any adhesive to hold them down at all. So yeah, I'll just, well, install them, like I've already done. Uh, and which way does this plug in? Right, so it's got two little clips on that side of it. Right, it is slotted, so it only goes in, ah right, so that bit goes in. That way around. Like that. Now I can put this little ribbon cable back in the LED bit, which is this one. Uh, I don't know if you can read on there, but that says LED. The LED bit went in there, so let's put that in, make sure that's in. And then the MB, which I honestly... Oh, MB is probably motherboard, which means the motherboard connector. Like that. And that went under the battery. So this is uh, me putting the battery back in. This is probably the quickest teardown and install I have ever done on anything. And that needs to go up and around there. Oh, this is probably the least professional thing you can ever do. And I'm completely ruining it right now. I'm kind of trying to do this in a hurry because it's 20 past four and something's happening at five. Let me go and get those angled tweezers. Okay, so. You go down and under. Yeah, yes, good. Same with you, okay? Mind you, that one's like... I think that's fine. That should be fine. There's a new speakers installed and there's a battery put back in place. Now I need to screw the battery back in. So I'll be back once I've done that. Those eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed I forgot to plug the... Uh, I forgot to reroute the Wi-Fi antenna around the battery. No, you go under there and over there like that. And then there was this bit of a... Electrical tape there to hold the wire in place. I guess I'll take that off and put some new electrical tape on. Let's just make sure the hinges are tied because as it is a laptop, uh, it gets open and closed, therefore the hinges will gradually become looser. So just tighten those up while I'm inside the device. Does that need... I'll go and get some electrical tape to tie that back down. So that should be fine in there. Now I can go ahead and put the two final screws in. Now I can plug the battery back in. I always feel dodgy when putting this back in because there's nowhere to grip it to uh, put it back in. So I'll have to use these and push it from either side or from... But right, there we go. There is the battery put back in. I'm going to put a strip of electrical tape over there like I did previously. Like that, 
before I put the bottom of the case back on, I'm going to turn it on and make sure the speakers do actually work. And then I'll put it back together and give you a final test proving they work. Here I am at my channel and I've got 266 subscribers. Thank you, whoever you are. I've been steadily gaining subscribers lately. It's good. Yeah, so yeah, here we are, just on my channel. Let's just, the axe restoration one, I don't know why, but I find this video satisfying. Probably because on the, the, the Hello axe. Hello welcome to this video. This video has sort of a tease on. So as you can hear, the speakers do work. Uh, but yeah, I was saying that I find the Axe video quite satisfying, probably because I was trying new editing methods and new little like tweaks and stuff that I hadn't used before, and I think I did it really well, so yeah, but anyway. Speakers work, does the mute button work? Yeah, it should do, yeah it does. Volume down. Volume up. I'll just set it on 50 for now. The speakers work, so now I can just put it back together. And that should be really easy because it's just pressure clipped. Battery's back in, speakers are in and working. Yeah, go ahead and put it back in. I don't know, I on, there's some kind of resistance at this side. I'm not sure what that was. Now I'm not working on it internally, I'll just zoom you out. There we go. Click, 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 it, click, click. Then there's this bit at the. Uh... Okay, there's the notebook. There's the base put back on. Axe, or by restoring it, what I mean is putting the axe head Speakers still on work. The, axe handle the speaker's not getting hot, which means it's, it's working. Axe. What's weird? is uh, when the speakers blew up, or well, when they got really hot and overheated, I wasn't actually doing anything that involved, like, the speakers being in use. I wasn't even using the speakers at the time of it happening. So, honestly, I don't know what caused it. Like I said, I hope it was just a speaker issue, because if it is an internal issue with the wrong current being sent to the speakers, then it probably means that these speakers will also spontaneously combust at some point as well. So now I need to put all the screws back in here. Here I am, the notebook's back together. I've put all the screws in, and it works. I, I know I've already shown it to you, but I haven't shown it since I put it back together, so I'll do that. As you, you can't really see it unless I go like that. There we go. So as you can see and hear, the uh, the speakers now work. And the volume up works. Volume down works. Mute works. It all works. So there is the installation of the new speakers complete. Now I just hope that these speakers don't decide to suddenly set on fire. So that has been it for this mini-series, that is the, a good conclusion, well, as of this recording, the speakers might like blow up later tonight when I use a notebook or something. Anyway, that has been it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, give it a like, if you haven't, then give it a dislike, comment, favourite, share and subscribe, and thank you for watching, I'll speak to you in the next video.